Hello everyone and welcome back to another season of The Neutral Zone where you can hear the latest and greatest hockey news. My name is Michaela Krupski here with Nick Giglietti back again for your viewing pleasure. For this episode we will recap the All-Star Weekend and give the latest news around the league. Starting off, former Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is leaving the Biden administration and is set to become the head of the NHL Players Union. He was presented to the Players Association as the top pick to replace Don Fair, and he is expected to make $3 million a year. Walsh is the first NHLPA director without a legal background. Vladimir Tarasenko has been traded to the New York Rangers along with Nico Mikola. St. Louis will pick up Sammy Blay, prospect Hunter Skinner, and a couple of draft picks. And it seemed like the NHL All-Star Weekend was an absolute disaster. Fans were greatly expressing their disappointment in the skills competition, saying that the events were happening way too fast and that a new event would start right in the middle of the previous one. From reading the reviews, it honestly seemed very disorganized and the fans were not happy. The NHL was also caught lying about the number of fans in attendance at the All-Star Game. It was tweeted that the event was a sellout with over 19,000 fans set to attend. However, photos from fans show otherwise with a very empty stadium. And the icing on the cake to it all was the cancellation of Saturday's truly hard seltzer NHL All-Star Beach Festival due to severe weather conditions. I also agree. I think the All-Star games have been very boring ever since they did the three-on-three -three tournaments. I also think the All-Star game should do a selection for two teams. I liked it way better that way. The Bruins seem to be running away with the Atlantic Division on February 1st before the All-Star break. The Bruins beat the Maple Leafs by a score of 5-2. to two. I really like the depth that the Bruins have this year. Bergeron is in his older age, but he still seems to be one of the best two-way centers to this day. A team that has disappointed me this year is the defending Stanley Cup champions, Colorado Avalanche. They lost a couple of key pieces from that team, but they have had a lot of injuries this season and may hurt them trying to get into the postseason. A team that has surprised me so far is the Seattle Kraken. They have a rough first year, but the additions they have added are really helping them. I would love to see them in the playoffs and try and make a deep run. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Nick Giglietti here with Michaela Krupski. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of The Neutral Zone.